So my name is uh, Matt Stemp, I'm one of the five William Temple Scholars here at uh, Goldsmiths College, uh, University of London, uh, and I'm researching religion and climate change. So I think hope's a bit of a difficult word for uh, the topic I'm researching, climate change, um, but there have been some signs of hope over the last few years. Uh, in particular, three years ago there was the Paris Agreement where um, almost every nation signed up committing themselves to keeping global average temperatures to um, no more than two degrees um, above pre-industrial levels and that's a really huge achievement. Um, the issue now is whether we can actually meet that agreement and whether, um, whether nations actually do what they say they're going to do. That's I suppose what I'm hoping for now. So a lot of really troubling things are now happening directly as a result of climate change. Um, just this month we've had Hurricane Florence tearing through North and South Carolina with um, uh, terrible effects. Um, in the UK we've had a, uh, over a month long summer heat wave and very few commentators have really linked that up with climate change in a positive way and it's troubling to see how we're still not really able to tell the story of climate change in an explicit way. Um, a lot of my research is trying to understand why that is and, and try to encourage um, particularly religious communities to engage with that question. What I found really interesting and quite un unexpected in my research so far is that a lot of people even outside of religion are calling for religious organisations and communities to engage with climate change because uh, religious organisations, particularly churches, they're able to engage with people at a kind of a global or international scale. Um, and that's potentially a sign of hope if we can engage those communities. So one of the things about uh, William Temple's thought that is not very often recognised is the fact that he was one of the earlier pioneers of eco-theology, although he wouldn't have recognised that word. In his book Christianity and the Social Order, he talks about how uh, the land and the earth is actually the source of economic wealth, um, that everything that we value ultimately comes down to the planet that, we're, that we live on. One of the really interesting developments in the William Temple Foundation at the moment is that we're developing a network of people interested in ecology and also digital technology and there's hardly any research yet done trying to engage with both of those topics at the same time. So it'll be, I think it would be a really good thing for the Foundation to, to research more work into those areas and how they might relate together.